Hello everybody, so a couple of years ago I made a video on the Google Tag Manager setup. So today I would like to make you know the new version with the updated version of the Google Tag Manager. So as you can see the interface has changed tons in the last two years. I guess it looks better. And um, it has a couple of new features. I'm just gonna show you, you know, the quick steps on how to set up your, your Google Tag Manager for a basic Google Analytics install, which is the main analytics tool for your websites. So today I'm gonna show you how, I to, how to install this Tag Manager, you know, on a website. This is a website, one of my clients. Um, it's in pure HTML, it's no CMS. So it's gonna be, I guess, different approach, but it's gonna be, you know, easier. So first of all, what we do is just set up and create a new tag. So here I'm going to do, you know, the Google Analytics Analytics tag. I'm going to choose the tags. There are a lot of tags you can choose from, which are already, you know, custom made for you. And they keep adding more stuff. You even have Marine and Infinity Call Tracking. Uh, Criteo, all these ad servers that are going to help you track conversions and everything. But in our case, we're just going to track the basic traffic analytics. Okay, so here we add the tracking ID. This is something you should have on your Google Analytics account. You have to create one account. It's also free. You can create it with your, with the same email, email you're using for your tag manager. If your client is is using a different tracking ID, you can also do use it. You know, you can have a Google Tag Manager to manage all your clients. So here we choose this tracking ID, we copy, paste it here, and then we choose the trigger, which is the event you want to track. In this case, it's gonna be the impressions. Every time someone views a page. So Google is gonna launch a little pixel, and every time this pixel, you know, creates an impression, it's gonna track a uh, visit or a view. We save this, okay? And once we save it, we have our tag ready. So what we do next is we want to have this tag launching on the pages we want. So we go to admin here and then install Google Tag Manager. And then what we do is we, we paste this code here. It has easy to follow instructions here. We go to the head and in our case we're going to use an FTP client. This is, it's an HTML website we, we're using transmit. We go to the public um, folder and then the index page. Okay, This is in the particular case of um, HTML you know static website. I am using uh, Sublime Text, which is my favorite text editor. It's very easy to use and it's free. You know, here we are. Here it's the website. So we're going to do a quick search for the head. There we are. And we're going to paste just after the tag. We're going to pay, pay, paste the tag. Well, the tracking code. Then this is this is new. In my previous um, tutorial, this tag was not, you know, available. Now we have this one. This is one to make sure that your script is launching. Okay. So let's paste it in the body tag. So we find the body. Here we are. This body tag has a couple of classes. We're just gonna paste it after that. So there we are. Okay. So on HTML websites, you have to make sure that your tag is actually installed on all the pages. You have to go one by one installing the tag. So in order, in order to verify the tag, we're gonna use the Google Tag Assistant, which is this little tool here. We're going to enable it, and then we're going to refresh. So here we can confirm that our two tags are launching. Since I previously installed the Google Tag Manager, you know, this one, I'm just going to delete it. Sorry, I don't know what, okay, here we are. Here we have the Google Analytics, which is launching. 
so it's working correctly and I should start getting traffic data in my reporting here as you can see I have nothing you know, October 3rd we still have no impressions we just got one visit because we, we did a visit here when we refreshed the website and it's working perfectly okay so it's very easy and simple to install your Google Tag Manager with Google Tag Manager will allow you to track a lot of stuff you know conversions you know every time someone uh, submits a form you can use the data layer to track conversions but that's a topic of another lesson um, you can also track you know click tracking on links you can track events specific events for example you can launch your pixel every time you know users are opening a, a, an image or or every time they are logging from uh, specific mobile devices all this stuff you can use as, uh, the tag manager you can also use different trackers so the Google Tag Manager is a very easy tool. I highly recommend this tool because it allows the Tag Manager, I mean the an, the analyst, to launch all sorts of tags from remote control, you know, using this tool without having to access FTP. I no longer have to go to my FTP client to do changes on the source code. I can do it remotely from the Google Tag Manager. It's a very, you know, efficient tool, very easy to use, and it allows you to do a ton of stuff. So I hope you liked the video, and um, if you have any questions, you know, don't hesitate in, in dropping a line. I have answered all the questions I have been asked before, and see you next time. Bye. Hmm?